In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply a fraction and a whole number together. The simple answer to this is we're going to make all the whole numbers into fractions, which we can easily do. We can easily make a whole number of fraction by simply put it over 1. For example, the number 7 quickly becomes a fraction when we put 7 over 1. And this works because 7 divided by 1 is simply 7, the whole number. Let's take a look at some examples where we do this. In this problem, we want 14 fifteenths of 10. We'll make the 10 a fraction by putting it over 1. This now makes the problem read 14 over 15 times 10 over 1. We can now do some reducing. Noticing the 15 and 10 have a common factor of 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 10 divided by 5 is 2, and we're ready to multiply what's left together. Multiplication works across the numerator and denominator. 14 times 2 is 28, over 3 times 1 is 3, and we get our final solution, 28 thirds. Let's try one more example, where we multiply with a whole number. Here, we have 15a times 7b over 25a squared. The 15a is not a fraction, so we're going to put it over 1 to make it a fraction. We now have 15a over 1 times 7b over 25a squared. Recall, we can write the a squared as a times a, so we can see what reducing is allowed. We'll see we have a common factor in 25 and 15 of 5 again. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 25 divided by 5 is 5. We can also divide one of the a's out of the numerator and denominator as well. What we have left is 3 times 7b, or 21b, over 1 times 5a, or 5a, and we have our final solution, 21b over 5a. Whenever we're dealing with a whole number, we'll find it always be quicker to simply put the whole number over 1, and then use the same rules that we've been using in the past.